well, we're off, but it's shortly. But not on Silver Cloud, and not on Lightning. The story I will tell later. Right, we have arrived. Sunset Lodge. There's the fishing and provision shed. And I'm actually setting up some fishing tackle before I start touching them things. Um, we've got a bait fridge. The girls are now going shopping, so me and Carl are going to get sorted out here. And then... Right. Oh, here we are. I'm just going to take this bit of tackle up there, get the rod set up. I don't know if we'll be fishing this afternoon. It's absolutely freezing out here at the moment with that wind. It's a bit breezy. So, um, I'll set the. Oh, God, I can't do that. I need that. Well, the traffic on the M62 this morning. Horrendous. Oh, it's a bit chilly today, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit. It's just that wind, it goes right through, you know, and I've not really got my thick coat on or anything. Or my thermals, which I don't own. Or, what else? My big copper hat, which I'll put that on in a bit. Right, anyway, so... Apparently, the seal comes up to here and they see your hotters. Now, whether there's, there's life jackets for that. Whether we're brave enough to actually go in it, in this weather. Well, I'll give it a fishing, a bit of a go down here, later on. It's very chilly. In fact, we probably won't do any fishing today. We'll probably leave it till tomorrow. But if I don't get things set up today, it won't happen. So as soon as the door is open, these blooming things were coming in for some food. Don't worry, they'll sort you out later. Anyway, first impressions of Sunset Lodge, I'll take you through it later on. It's very nice. I should imagine in summertime, when it's lovely and warm, Sat out here, barbecue, you've got the canoe, bit of fishing. Anyway, I'll set something up. Right, it's nice and quiet. Just had 10 minutes, well, half an hour fishing, not with a bite. Um, so I'm just going to show you around here now it's nice and quiet while the girls are here. So you've got plenty of car parking spaces, enough for three cars there. Um, there's a shed but that's not accessible. I hope this mic's working. And you've got the bait shed here. And you've also got life jackets and a paddle for the canoe. You've got a fridge and a freezer. So plenty of stuff, plenty of chairs. <coughs> Um, for in the garden, the lawnmower, but I won't be using that. Um, cushions, so we're just doing the outside for now. And um, it's like some, some waterproof coats as well. Oh, there, waterproof coat. Possibly somebody might have left that. I've got my own with me over here somewhere. There we are. Yeah, so. It's got a lock on this shed and I'll, I'm going to lock it up when I put everything in. So then you've got a wheelchair ramp there if you need a wheelchair. And a door that we've got the key for. The girls have got the other key. Because I think they've, you know, I think they expected me and Carl not to be here when they got back. Um, gas barbecue. Now if we did have the boat we could come and moor her up here but we haven't. So will we go in the canoe? I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, they've got nice comfy seats out here. And he did ask if it rains, bring the cushions in. We should probably bring the cushions in anyway. And the kills have got the key for this door. What's that piece of wood for? Oh, I'll stop the door from banging open. And I've got the key for this door. So, I can take my mumming hat off now. It's nice and warm in here now. It wasn't when my first kiln because the eating went on, but. Whew! Right. Put these out of the way. So I don't annoy too many people. We're going to put them. Look at that, eh? The car was. That is the bar. We've got a few cans of Strongbow. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, so you've got a lounge kitchen area. There's a dishwasher and there's a washing machine under here that looks like it's switched on all the time. I don't know how to switch it off. Um, anyway. The big fridge. And Carl stopped up a few things. It was cloudy. Cloudy lemon cider. Mm. Now there's not much in it at the moment because uh, the girls have gone to the Tesco's. So we brought that and we brought, I don't know what he's done with it actually, slow cooker. Because Christine asked if they had one and they didn't. So we, we're going to go to a couple of trips out put something in the slow cooker and then off the off we pop for the day and then come back and it'll be ready. Bath, toilet, you know the script. Um, this is the double bedroom which we've let Carly Clet have. That's locked so I don't know what's in there. Well actually our bedroom's next door so I don't know if that goes right through to next door. Um, yeah, double bed. Nice and warm in here at the moment. Might turn the heating down that time, doesn't it? Too hot. Well, it's only on 20. Um, now then, that's a secret room that you'll find. If you do book this place and you're couples, you'll find out what that room is. And this is the twin room. Um, now then, see that door there? That's this a wardrobe. Oh god, it's dark. Oh, I'll have to have words. I was under the impression she'd unpacked everything before she went. <coughs> yeah, so that must be a cupboard or something in there with a the door that's locked. So this is the twin room. And It is lovely and warm in here now, it's a bit chilly outside. Right, so that's the quick tour. Very cosy, really nice. Uh, I think the plan is now, I don't know whether me and Carl are going to nip to the pub. I'll wait for them to come back. And I'm not too sure whether Christine's expecting me to do the unpacking. Carl's done those. Anyway. Yeah, so it's a bit of a bummer about lightning really but it needs a prop shaft so um, it won't go anywhere without one of them will it so if they get it ready for the next people all well and good I mean we originally planned on coming here in this lodge knowing that we didn't have lightning at all and it was a bonus when we found out we might have it so now we're back to plan A it doesn't really matter right so the big question for the week is, will we be going in that? I don't know if I'll be able to get down those bloody ladders to it. Or if I did, I don't know whether I'll be able to get back out again. Right, that's it. Oh, right. Girls are back. Nothing, I'm just talking to my YouTube fan. Um, the girls are back. We were under the feet, they said, so they sent us out for a walk. Now I have to check in the white run for a, just to see if they've got any Guinness for Michael tomorrow, who's popping down to see us. Mm -hmm. And um, 
We also want to walk up behind Lightning, a bit farther down to check. Um, there is a little gate you can go across the railway line, but it's not always open, but it is a shortcut up for when we're coming back from the Ram Inn. But if you walk all the way down the road first and find out that it's short, you've got a long walk all the way back. So, do you want to do that first before we go and check out the White Run? Yeah. Who's mine? Uh, Michael. Right. I'm on the worry. <laughs> Tells on Adnan's wild wave that she's been panicking about because he's a bit of a cider snob. If it's not to his taste, he won't drink it. Oh, here we are at the White Iron. And I didn't realise they had some nice bench seats like this. They didn't have them last time I came in, I don't think. Oh, we might have walked straight past them, actually. Right, so Michael, there's Guinness up there for you, you're OK. They weren't supposed to be coming, they found us. I'm shattered me with all that driving. Mm. Alright, anyway, Carl Fancy, come in here for some treat, because let me pass the menu, please, dear. I will show you the menu. I'm not reading it out to you. Uh, basically, because I can't see it through my camera. It's not a bad choice. Sometimes you can get too many things, can't you? Now I've just seen somebody eating those fully loaded nachos and they looked really nice. Oh, nice. Chicken and pork platter. Mm, yeah. well, but anyway, the plan for... But Carl wanted to come here tomorrow instead of... Because he saw the menu and he fancied one of the burgers. I saw the bar made and I thought, mm, yeah, we'll come here. And, um, no, I didn't. I didn't say that, did I? Did not actually say that out loud? Oh. Anyway. So, we are going to go to the ramming. So I bought a table there anyway, so we've got to carry on with that. The walk tomorrow is about just short of six miles. And we're heading up towards Strumshaw. And a pub called the shoulder of mutton. I haven't told her yet about talking when I'm filming. So. Do you want a dog or a water bowl yeah. as well? Like, no, he's actually reading for meals. <laughs> oh yes, I don't, <laughs> I don't know whether you caught that bit there. But at the bar, you can see there's a bowl there. Can you see it? Mm. Right there, there's a bowl with dog biscuits in. And Colette was at the bar in front of me and I said, um, take him one of those back. So the guy down the bar said, do you want to boil the water for him as well? <laughs> so I said, he's on a bit of the <laughs> There he is, Fido! <laughs> Earlier. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so shoulder and mutton. And then we're going to the ramen tomorrow. So let's see what happens. I know you love it. The white and Right, that's it. Anyway, got away with it, Anna. Told them. We tried, me and Carl tried booking here for Valentine's Day as a treat. We're not doing it Tuesday because they're closing in it Friday. Unfortunately, we're going back on Friday. Well, it's a thought that counts. Can you see them? What's the weird? See, uh, they're on the way the money? to get the. Uh, uh, did she not give it you? No. Oh, right, yeah, I've got it. Right, the crack now is we've got to go all the way up here, about two miles to the chippy. Well, it's not really, but. Um, oh, it's a bit chilly. I've only got a fleece on. 
see his Tez. That's um, Terry and Sue, do you remember them? He just messaged me. Yeah, so we are going up, I think we're just getting some chips to go with our tea. I made some cheese and onion and potato pasties um, yesterday. And, um, right, where's that path now? There's a path here somewhere. Maybe yeah, there is. Is that it? That's it, isn't it? That's where we'll be going tomorrow, down that path, I think. Yeah. So, right, we're off to the chippy. Eh? Just for a couple of portions of chips and some curry or gravy or whatever. It's a bit dark, so you can't see nothing, so I'll turn him like off. Thank you. See you later. Right. All the way up here for a nice portion of chips and a, it's allegedly a large curry. They have. St they're still wearing masks in there. I mean, last time we was here, it's fair enough, I suppose. Um, you had to stand at the door. And that was, I think that was in July. And they're still wearing masks behind there, so I don't know whether Covid's still rife down here. Or whatever. Um, I didn't do any filming in there, obviously. So now we're on the way back. And then the plan is three games of dominoes, and then we'll watch a film of some description. Brittany. Yeah. Brittany. Who's in it? Won't be Brittany, will it? Whitney. Oh, Whitney. Whitney. <laughs> Whitney. Who plays Whitney then? I don't know. If you talk, uh, Clare Vettel, Wall Film, it's called Clare Vettel, 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 it's called Clare and cowards. we battered them, battered them. So they're cowards. The cowards, they are cowards. They're running scared, aren't they? <laughs> hey. Why the is this his weird pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, eclipse! Let the games commence. Yeah. So right. In tin is in Australia. They have these holders. Don't they? We can get different coloured ones. We can have them with the names on. And then when they come away, they yeah. can have their own holders on the tent. Right, we we have said that we're oh, having Christ three... Oh, chases, by the way. Oh, God, what water. Yeah. Oh, yes. We're having three games now, tonight, are we? Yeah. What's the plan for the rest of the week? Because we have to play each night. How many games? Every night. Don't, well, no. well, can we play it by ear? Well, no, you've got to play Suggestion. it by fingers. Play three tonight, an average of five every night afterwards. Okay. Right. Until they're that far behind that they say, oh, we might as well second. Yeah, but it depends. If we're, if we're 3 nil up tonight, we might play another two. Tonight? Yeah, to become oh, back. Forget right, the film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, partner. <laughs> Can we high-five oh, Yes. Oh, they think they've won already. Hi, partner. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> So the domino challenge has commenced. Who will be triumphant at the end of the week? So stay tuned for that. If nothing else. <laughs> and tomorrow we go for a long walk. And later on we meet up with some very dodgy characters who lead me astray badly. I know, I know, you've heard it all before. I'm easily led. <laughs>